Guys, we gotta be honest. This game is a broken, fucked up mess at the moment. It is just... It's incredible. With, just as I said in my review, with every patch, this game is getting worse. What's going on guys, Krahu here. I'm gonna keep it short today. I just wanted to play some fucking Call of Duty after work. Is that too much to ask? Season 1 is dropping, I wanted to check it out. There's been a patch that has um, come out that maybe nerfed a few things. Yeah, great, after work, fucking what a treat. Great, let's get on um, Call of Duty. Unfortunately, like the dumbass I am, I forgot which Call of Duty we're playing here. It's Black Ops Cold War. With every single patch, I swear to God, this game is getting worse. It's getting more boggy, uh, buggy. It's incredible. And no, no, no. Don't adjust your whatever you're watching this video zone. The freezes that you see is what makes this game unplayable. It In the current state, this game is absolutely unplayable. Go on Twitter right now and go into the search bar and see Black... I had to fucking do it because I thought it was my PS5. And uh, look up Black Ops Stutter. This shit stutters like crazy. If you guys saw in the beginning, uh, the guy that was walking up the the ladder that and the hit detection is fucking terrible. By the way, look, it happened over there too. Um, it happens so often, multiple times a game in, in gun engagements in a fucking multiplayer. This is unacceptable. I had to look this shit up because I thought I was going crazy. Um, yeah, everything looks fine here and whatever. Um, but it's a it's a thing. This patch has made this game incredibly frustrating. These freezes are not even... It's not even lag. I don't even know what to call it. It's just... It completely throws you off. I, If I remember during this, uh, this gameplay, this video, I'm gonna point out a couple of times when it happens. But it, what a frustrating mess. What a frustrating mess this is. I released, if you guys uh, didn't see it in your sub box, I released a full lengthy review of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War where I covered the campaign, a little bit of zombies and the multiplayer. Uh, link is in the description if you missed that. I released that yesterday. Not to show- over there! You saw that? It happened. That's not lag. <laughs> That's this. Whatever that is. Uh, but going back, um, yeah, so I released a full review of Black Ops Cold War. It's in the description. Are you experiencing the same thing? I mean, this game is making it so hard for me to to like it. It's unbelievable. Um, I thought to myself, okay, season one, things are going to get patched up. Treyarch can be radio silent forever about this this mess that this game is. And again, I understand it's 2020. Shit went down this year, I get it, but you still charged a premium price for this. And this is so frustrating. When the lobbies put me at such a, you know, high level gameplay, if I have to sweat, at least I don't have to fight the game itself. I've heard people in, I played, not quite a bit, but like an hour, look, it happened over there too. Um, an hour's worth of Black Ops Cold War today because it was fucking incredible. I wanted to use the last few hours of double XP left to, you know, to level up or whatever because I clearly during the day I work. So I just want to relax. Fucking relax. <laughs> relax with Black Ops Cold War. Yeah, okay. But still, I wanted to play a little bit. And it, this was just totally surprising. I, I didn't know. I was like, it, I restarted my, P, uh, my PlayStation. I checked for updates again. I was like, is it? God forbid, it's is it my PS5? I just got it. Please, don't break now. But no, it's it's actually a thing. And as I said in my review in the beginning, when this game first came out, this did not happen. With every addition, with every patch that Treyarch does, it just fucks the game up even more. I don't I don't understand why this is happening. Um, and you could be in the middle of a firefight. And that, over there, you saw that stutter? That's not the YouTube video, that's the actual game. Uh, so you could be in the middle of a firefight and this shit happens, which happened countless times. And it just drove me insane, but check this out. 
Check this out. I, I purposefully let this part in um, when the beginning of the first round. You'll see. So, yeah, so this um, update that happened was today. I think it went live at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. And I was excited. You know, they did a patch, and as I said, um, they were supposed to nerf a few things, buff a few things. So, great, let's check it out. And then this happens, and I was just like, unbelievable. So, in the beginning of this round, I wanted to experiment a little bit uh, and see if I could, you know, make it happen on camera so that it's visible, so that you guys don't think I'm crazy. So, the reason why I spin here, not because um, I want to, <laughs> but because maybe the stutter will happen. And check this shit out. We captured a point right there. You, you, you saw this. And I got so frustrated because I couldn't believe it. Like, it's right there. How can you enjoy this fucking game? The people that, I mean, listen, even hardcore Black Ops Cold War apologists, and I know you're out there. First of all, it's not bad to, you're not going to go to jail for criticizing the game. It's broken at the moment. It's not good. It needs patches. What the hell is with games? Cyberpunk 2077 is a buggy mess. D d don't even get me started on this shit. I think another one happens here. Hold on. Look, it even throws me off my course. Look! D d it's not me, right? It's fucking crazy. Uh, so even to hardcore Black Ops Cold War apologists, you have to take this game at face value at the moment because the face value sucks. <laughs> I would say worse things about it, but this is... I'm trying to keep... Do I even make money off YouTube? I don't think so. Um, but anyway, it's insane. And j just ask Treyarch. I mean, if you think Treyarch is the best gaming developer out there, we have to take them off that pedestal. I mean, Treyarch can make crap games. And this one, I think... I really wish we had an insight to how much guidance uh, Activision of how much restriction Treyarch has in terms of, you know, delivering what product they want. Do you know what I mean? I'm sure there's a lot, but, you know, at some point you have to also... Look, it happened over there too. You have to blame the developer too. I mean, it's their fucking game at the end of the day. They coded it. They delivered it to us. So, what the hell? And we paid, you know, money for it, so at least we could expect a little bit of a product that works. Should I even say if that makes sense? Because no, this totally makes sense. I don't know, I was just frustrated, tough day. And then I, all I wanted to do was play some freaking Call of Duty. Not even record, not even record. I just wanted to play, use up the last, you know, couple of hours of double XP to um to level up to level up my guns i think today raid is coming out but like at night so i'm probably gonna play it tomorrow after work and you can get the mac 10 wow fucking awesome right well if the game was working this reminds me of the time when black ops 1 came out and i think black ops 1 came out look it happened there too black ops 1 came out with less bugs you know it was kind of crappy it, it's similar to that bug that black ops 1 had that when somebody somebody's stats would update on your PS3, I swear I swear to you, this this was real. If somebody's stats on your friends list updated, the game froze. Are, is this like a retro throwback Easter egg that Treyarch is doing? Unbelievable. Uh, sorry, I got heated. This is just the gameplay from like right now. I was playing relaxed. <laughs> Whatever. This is Krak who I hope they fix this mess. At the moment, I am not touching this shit today. Look at that. Unbelievable. This is Krak who. See you guys next time. Take care.